Hello everyone. This is the Prussian Prince with another Hearts of Iron 4. Let's play episode as Romania. So what was the plan here? Well, as you can see, we have tons of manpower right now. What I want to do is we can modify our government. But that's not really what we want to do though, is it? Commando could be nice. And in fact, how many do we have? Well, we have a few special forces, which I could see more easily the terrain, but it's not easy. It must be the graphic settings that I'm running. Couple hills. Hmm. I have enough mountaineers. I would think so anyway. So I am justifying more war goals. They'll be done in very, very soon. Slovakia exists and it's a puppet of Germany okay interesting anyway Yugoslavia is gonna be next that is our next target and soon the justification in July so we can afford to wait just a tad and then we will just crush Yugoslavia we have this nice uh, marshal he is skill 4 with Logistics Wizard and Offensive Doctrine, so he is just absolutely brilliant. About to have infantry equipment too, which is going to be great. But oh, we're, we're doing fine in terms of infantry equipment, so we need to worry about that. But I would want an extra research slot. If you look at this, it's really behind the cause. Yeah, I can definitely get this after I'm finishing paramilitarism thing. Okay. So there we go. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to go for this. We're going to crush them through here, and then we're going to crush them through here, right? Yeah. So, it's time to declare war. Conquer. Not call in any allies, and apparently I have a new technology. Because I just researched that. So, hmm. Not recon. Maintenance. Signal. Nah. We have enough industry. We actually don't. So, industry techs are going to have to be very important right now. I'm not sure why I didn't prioritize them, you know. So now, we should probably go for the attacks. There we go. Should go on speed 3. Might be better. Here we are obviously winning. I mean, we're winning everywhere because we have uh, really nice troops. And if we look at the organizer here, we do have... What? Yeah, we, we're doing fine. We have two art and then we have all these companies here. Yeah, we're doing mighty fine. I should say so at least. Um, we could go for this. Yeah. But, I mean, we already have tons of troops, right? So, increasing it may not be the best. Okay, so in November, that's going to happen. And this is going to happen also in November. And this isn't going to happen for, like, a while, you know. So, we might as well go for it, like, right now. Yeah. We could go for it and start going for these war goals. Definitely. I think it's a great idea. And Yugoslavia is just going to fall here. We're going to crush them, supporting with more units. We're also going to win here. Just one of our divisions is going to crush two of theirs because their divisions are weird. Here should be the same thing, one of ours against, uh, yeah, wow, look at this modifier. That's pretty amazing. They just got schooled. So yeah, I've lost 7k, they've lost 36k, so that's efficiency for you. <laughs> five times. This isn't the best attack. No, that's not, those are not good odds at all, but yeah. Should be hope, hopefully should be getting some assistance here though. with this battle. It's 45k to 11k. I mean, it's alright. 
Okay, we're pushing through here. Pushing through here as well, and these guys are just going through here. Oh, they're actually attacking me here, but they're not doing too well. It's called Cavalry Brigade, but we changed the template. Okay, we have three military factories, so... We can probably just assign more of these guys to them. Also, do we have infantry equipment too? Yes, we do. So we can start upgrading that. Because it's going to be very important to upgrade our stuff. So, insufficient resources. We don't have enough steel. Well, we can get it from Germany, right? There we go. Germany's going to give us all the steel in the world. It's all the steel that we need. Oh, I need to get rid of the day-night cycle, of course. Hmm. Time to kill some more units here. I hate fighting in the mountain, though. But it doesn't matter. We just have uh, the numbers. And our efficiency... It's still looking very, very good. I'm not gonna call in allies because if I call in allies, I'm gonna be splitting uh, stuff with them, which, you know, I don't like splitting. So here, the production efficiency cap is gonna be increased. It's a very good thing to increase, of course. And soon, once we have this, oh, we have another tech here as well. So what can we go for? We have the logistics company too, which is great. Um. Well, actually, it just decreases the supply usage of the logistics company itself. So not everything, apparently. Eh, not that good, then. However, the engineers. Hmm. Artillery-wise, land doctrine. Well, we're almost finishing this. This is going to be really important to finish. Uh, support battalions. Let's get the engineer. Yeah. gonna give us nice entrenchment okay so we're crushing here apparently as you can see we're just waiting right here and they're actually attacking into us which is fine we're entrenched so there's no problem whatsoever they can attack as much as they want we're not actually gonna push through here or are we because we are dishing out more damage than we're taking but we have the great skill leader, so could be good. We're still winning here as well, but they they have a lot more units here. We might not actually do this unless we support with even more units. So they're attacking here, but again, no chance whatsoever against our units. Our units are just far too strong for them. So here, this is a bad move out. Not a fan of this at all. 66%. Okay, this is going really well. So we have this, but the extra research slot, much more useful. Uh, we still need more steel, and we're going to take it from... Oh, German right to clear warm Poland. That's kind of what I expected to see. So yeah, let's see here... Good luck attacking me. They keep wasting their troops. I'm not as efficient as I used to be, but I'm still being pretty damn efficient. Okay, I might be losing this battle. So this isn't great, but we'll just take it back once more. Are we gonna get it in, in time? I think we might just barely get in time. Uh, so we got there in time to support that division. Look, it's still fighting. It's crazy. Now it's not fighting, but still. Gave us enough time to get that other division in. Hmm. Yeah, this is no contest. We look at the stats here. Barely lost anything. Barely. Because this is going to finish in March, this is finishing in November. And this is finishing also in November, 11 November. This is 22 November. So we can just finish up Hungary here. I mean, it's not going to matter. Okay, so Belgrade is a problem because we can't take it right now. But it doesn't mean we can never take it.
I could use this, but it's not gonna help me, unfortunately. Not much, anyway. Also, the infrastructure here. We might as well just keep buffing up our military factories, you know? Ah, <laughs> look at them go. They're just gonna die here. This attack is kind of failing, so that's a bit sad. Not quite sure why these guys are not being sent there because they would do so well. Looks like they might be trying to get out of Belgrade, but they're not going to be able to. What are the Italians doing here? Because they're not in this war. So, yeah. We are, though. Uh, this is hard to break through, but we should have the superior divisions. So, we should be seeing better odds soon enough. And we have the better leader. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. They still have the better one, though. Okay, so Belgrade is kind of, uh, yeah, surrounded. You could say. They were entrenched, but it didn't really seem to matter. And Yeah, we got these guys here, and then we're going to start pushing here soon after. Oh, what? What's this battle plan? That does not make much sense. I can't see what this battle plan is here. And I'd be removing the whole thing. I really don't get it. What's this battle plan? <laughs> Interesting. I guess they're ready to be before war. Belgrade. Oh, they actually attacked me in here. Well, there's that. Okay, so attacking Belgrade, not the best idea, but these guys are getting some nice bonuses. Not this guy, though. It's like River Crossing. But hopefully, you know, we can keep pushing on and on to Belgrade. So Belgrade is the important uh, one that we do want to take. I'm just gonna go on ahead and keep pushing and hopefully I can get them to get out of Belgrade. Well, I don't understand what's, what's with this. That doesn't make sense. It looks like it is gone now, so yeah. Eh, and we might as well just start it everywhere. They've lost so many more troops than we have. Here, Belgrade is just gonna go down real fast. Could have soft attack of this guy. Pretty insane. The planning bonus is really helping. Plus 50%. It's insane! Right, these guys should be getting some planning bonus too. Yeah, they're getting some planning bonus, but every day it's like dropping slightly. I think it's every day. Yeah. Should be every day. So we're gonna kill Hungary here. They're pretty small. And Belgrade, they have reinforced Belgrade, which is very sad for me. I did not want to see this, but not much I can say really. I'm just gonna keep pushing. But not all territories are nice to push, as you can see here. Oh, and this guy, he just became five skill leader. So now he's like an absolute beast. Plus 25% to every stat. He is just brilliant. <clears throat> About to have Belgrade and once we do this should drop really quickly. Uh, they have 85% national unity so we're not gonna win even with that. We still have insufficient resources. We need some tungsten. Let's get it from Portugal. And that's about it. We do have some military factories though. So I would probably want the toad and the air here. Improved artillery though. Oh, we already have it. So yeah. Oh, we still have more. Support equipment is very nice. 
And we should definitely get it. More support equipment is always nice. Morize, though, apparently it's built, so just having one factory is going to be more than enough. Uh, these guys need to surrender soon. Oh, we got a nice little extra research slot. It's precisely what I wanted. Um, yeah, let's go for more factory stuff. Human wave offensive is good. Oh, we haven't selected a national focus. That's bad. We have completed all of these, though, so. But we haven't completed ideological fanaticism. Hmm. Go for equipment effort, yeah. Equipment effort will be nice. Can't see anything else being worth it over it, really. Steel, more from Germany. Not gonna be able to import much from France uh, once we're gonna fight them. Well, did France back down? No, they didn't. But we're not actually at war with them, which is why they're not evil towards us. This attack here! Yeah, not the best attack. So this attack here, pretty good, but we need more troops. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta get going fast. Because if we don't, yeah. I'm gonna have to manually attack, I guess. And look, I'm even killing them while entrenched. Because of the planning bonus, it's just so strong compared to just the entrenchment, as you can see. Wow, look at that. Just They just got mauled. So I have this available until January, which is obviously plenty of time. Um, some resistance to occupation. That's not good. Gonna have to make some garrison units. For sure. Okay, those guys are going down. Reason to doubt that. Still have some VPs here, and there should be some VP map. Well, I don't remember. I guess there isn't. There is a resistance map. Right? Okay, so we probably have two war goals now, right? Yeah, also against Greece. Both expire in January, which is fine. It's uh, very fine. Okay, so Zagreb is next. We're gonna take that. But anyway, that's enough for now, so hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, follow me on social media. See you next time.